The city of Victoria says tonight it will not fight the Court of Appeal decision that upholds the right of campers to sleep in city parks. That decision is a big win for the city's homeless community, but how much is it really actually going to change? A news reporter Shachi Curl has the story. She joins us now with that. Shachi. Hudson, the decision whether or not someone is homeless will not make a whole lot of difference this evening. And that is in part because some of the work involved in ending homelessness was crystallized by this case over the years and is already underway. What does the ruling mean? The city, which brought, paid for, and lost the appeal, was scrambling to figure that out this morning. Councillors hunkered down with police and others in a closed-door meeting. Meantime, the lawyer who fought the city was calmly claiming victory. So overall, I mean, it's, it's a complete win. It's an endorsement of Madam Justice Ross's reasoning and our arguments before the court. The fight goes back four years to when campers, some legitimately homeless, some making a point, set up tent cities, first at St. Anne's Academy, then Cridge Park. It was the start of a legal battle pitting a person's right to sleep in public spaces against taxpayers' expectations that parks were for everyone's use. In October 2008, the B.C. Supreme Court ruled the city could not prevent homeless people from putting up shelter in Victoria Parks. The city appealed and lost again. Today, David Arthur Johnson, the camper at the center of it all, was not around to savor his victory. He's back in jail after being arrested for setting up a tent in Centennial Square on November 24th. Still, everyone was waiting on what Victoria's mayor would say. The city of Victoria has decided not to appeal the decision. Really, um, we feel that appealing uh, does not in any way solve homelessness. So the battle is effectively over in Victoria, but is it just beginning elsewhere? This city has brought in a compromise bylaw that restricts camping in parks from 7 at night till 7 in the morning only when shelter beds aren't available. But what happens in cities where those bylaws don't exist? Tonight, the city of Vancouver is considering its next moves. Well, we're very hopeful that we can make more shelter space available, that we have all the tools here in Vancouver to, to give people a, a warm and dry place to sleep. Dean Fortin says this isn't about laws or rights. It's about trying to find homes for those that don't have them. And he claims Victoria is making progress. Just last week, the city announced new affordable housing units that will go into the Hudson development on Douglas Street. Let's get on with it and do everything we can to get the housing we need. We don't know how many homeless people will choose to camp out in these public spaces once the light fades tonight. What we do know is that even in this week's sub-zero temperatures, not all emergency shelter beds are being filled. Now, Hudson, Victoria's loss in court means taxpayers will have to pay the tab for both the city's legal costs as well as those of the campers. But Mayor Dean Fortin says the appeal was necessary for a lot of complex legal reasons. Now, nothing changes in terms of the way the Victoria Police Department will be dealing with campers. For those breaking the bylaws, that means if they're in a tent past 7 o'clock in the morning, police say enforcement will be gradual, step by step. The department says most people move along without problems. As for that legal bill, as the city said, how much taxpayers will they be They are not revealing that. They say they don't know yet. All right, Shachi, thank you. You're welcome. Shachi, girl, reporting.